Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 23rd of January, the local media headlines today. Nearly all of our local media went very big on what's thought to have been a gas explosion at a bungalow on the Lizard. Cornwall Live told us that the blast woke residents at Kankai near Wendron at about half past midnight last night. The Falmouth packet adds that a man was rescued from the rubble and taken to hospital. Cornwall Reports has been surveying the county's farms estate and discovered that the council has sold off farms and small holdings in recent years worth more than £10 million. The policy of rationalisation is controversial because every time a farm is sold, that's one less for potential new entrants to get started in agriculture. Cornwall Reports also looks ahead to today's full council meeting, which will discuss if it's a good idea for the council's 10-member cabinet to set the strategic direction of any health service takeover. And there's the question of why Cornwall Council charges disabled people more than £3,000 to park outside their own homes, when other councils do it for free. Cornwall Reports also rounds up latest thinking on Cornwall's libraries, where some communities are still a long way from taking matters into their own hands. The Cornish Times tells us about an 11-year-old from Callington who's raised more than £650 for Plymouth's Dereford Hospital. The money will go to the neonatal unit as part of a £2 million appeal. And finally, the Cornish and Devon Post very sensibly runs a story about the importance of local newspapers and why we need to keep on buying them. And those are the local media headlines for now. You know the drill. Please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.